Well, today we find ourselves in a creator's den. I'm with Stephen Tu, creator and game developer of Two Plus Games. Now, this is such an interesting hub of activity that you've got going on over here, your sweet spot. What are some of the current projects at your fingertips? Okay, so um, right now, I'm just jumping between different things. Uh, this one on screen right now is a project that I'm doing with a guy in Deutschland, uh -huh. a Dutch guy. Um, and he's making a board game about factories. What my role in this is creating artwork for it, um, making stuff like a time machine, which is a, a riff from Back to the Future, and the boil nado, which is a machine that tornadoes and boils at the same time. Now, with this being graphics for a board game, we know that that's one of your other specialities, but we're going to tap into that later. One of your first official releases was Dead Run, a zombie nation. Tell us what inspired that. Dead Run was a game that we made, uh, well, by we, because me and my partner back then made this thing. We, we made it because we wanted something simple. Making a game is much more than what most people see. It, it's, it's very involved. There's code, there's graphics, there's art, uh, sound, the design. So we were frustrated with making a lot of stuff and not taking it to completion. So we needed something small that we can take to completion, which is what Dead Run was. Um, it also inspired a bunch of stuff like, like, like a t-shirt game. Uh -huh. like I made a t-shirt ah. game. Game on a T. Yes. Very interesting. Full of party tricks, aren't you? Uh, slightly, slightly. <laughs> Mobile party over here. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about Beat Attack as well. Okay, Beat Attack was a game that I showed uh, at Rage last year as well. Um, it has come slightly further than that since then. I, I like music games. I love music games and I love um, puzzle games and I love cute stuff. So it's, it's pretty much a combination of all those things put together in one. It's a game of a, a, a simple nature. You play with hmm. one button, you pick, a, pick up blocks and then you drop blocks. Now, the demand for gaming and the way that it can really reach from point A to point B in the world. I mean, we're seeing South Africans that are making it rain out there. Um, how difficult is it to make it a full-time job? Hard. <laughs> like, as all art form, um, creative is the thing that everyone wants to do, but is really hard to do because everyone wants to do it. Um, competition is fierce. The exercise of game making, I always thought, was a Nintendo, Sony, whatever, big company thing. It was only three, four years ago that I met with the local game development community that I realized, ah, oh my goodness, anyone can do it, you just got to work at it. Um, because of digital distribution, democratized uh, tool set, Unity, Game Maker, all of these tools, all of these things are available for free online. And uh, anyone can do it as long as they learn mm. to do it. Gaming can become incredibly addictive and it often morphs into a world where loners go as well. But what I really dig about you is that you seem to maintain a very good balance between the computer and board games and getting social with people. Yes, social, social is so important. Like the company name is 2 plus, 2 plus like as part of it, if you want people to play with each other. Board games is, is a thing where you intrinsically have to have friends to play with. So I've dabbled a lot in board game prototyping creation. Um, the, the road to publication is much longer and harder than a video game because you've got to actually get logistics. All that dis digital distribution stuff that we talked about earlier, none of that applies to board games because you still got to print it, you still got to ship it, you still got to da 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 But we are right now globally in a what we call a board game renaissance as well because of Kickstarter. Um, Kickstarter has, has funded more board games than anything ever by private individuals, um, which is really exciting because you can really put out an idea and have people recognize the idea and, and pay you for it. Uh, you have created a very interesting card game yourself. Yes. Okay, so this is Cartel. 
I took her to a maze last year as well. This isn't quite ready to be public yet, but I, I really enjoy it. It's a prototype. It's a prototype. So uh, you play with people by um, these cards, and you build up a city, basically, yeah. with different businesses that do different things, and you have uh, goons that move around town that take over each other's territories and etc. It's a game of cartels and illegal businesses and muscling in on your enemies' territories and that kind of stuff. Speaking of making stuff, I've, I made this, but I didn't design it. Okay, this is Spyfall. This is their art. This is the Not Safe for Work edition. When the game starts, you deal out a set of cards to everyone, and one of the players is Spy. He doesn't know where he is. Everyone else gets a location. So the spy doesn't know where everyone is. Everyone else doesn't know who the spy is. Spy is, ah, oh, okay. gotcha. And then it's a very social game of asking each other questions. Right, so Stephen, I mean, what we've gathered is that you're not only cool because you literally arrive with a bag of games in a bag at a party, but you also arrive wearing <laughs> your game and you point out that you've got this gaming tee for three players and up. So this is a game on a tee and it's actually did run in physical form. I've always wanted to cross my franchises. And basically the rules are, are like down there, those are the rules, but I'll just quickly explain it. <laughs> Someone has to wear the tea, and other people shoot the zombies or not shoot the humans. And I point at a random one and then someone has to go bang. And if it's zombie, they kill it and they get a point. And if I point at a human, 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 and someone shouts bang, then they lose. Aha. So it's it's a, a, it's a quickest trigger finger sort of game. Gosh, Stephen, well, my brain is overwhelmed because clearly you think of every single thing when it comes to gaming. It's been so awesome spending time with you. Thanks for having us in your great den. Now, from one smarty pants to our next army, we're catching up with the Hypertext guys and the TikTok. <laughs>